Hey, what's going on, Solid Steph? Is this Miss Ward coming to you? I've been doing several uh, consultations lately, and so I feel the need to kind of share some things with people. Um, when it comes to appliance repair, there are a few things that will cause your business to fail. And a lot of guys and girls fail out the gate simply because they underestimate the expertise it takes. So for example, YouTube University is only gonna get you so far. Free 99 is gonna only get you so far. So example, say you live in a certain area and Lowe's, Sears, Home Depot back in the day had all these Samsung rebates. So you're just covered up with Samsung on one side. Some of you guys covered up with GE on the other side. And a lot of these uh, appliances require that you understand how to read the fast tracks, the service manuals, how to put things in diagnostics, understand the top 10 things that go wrong with this appliance, whether they're under warranty, whether the company has extended uh, some things to the customers. The only way you're gonna know this, you're gonna have to be number one, your network. You're gonna have to be in circles where people deal with this every day. You know, you gotta realize if you're coming in here without the technical experience and you're trying to get in where you fit in, you're gonna have to do the 10,000 hours of mastery, particularly if you're hands-on. And those of you that wanna come in and think you're gonna be able to just manage techs, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose your shirt because if you don't understand how appliances work, I mean, there's a reason why, you know, HVAC guys don't even wanna to touch appliances, you know, and they deal with refrigeration. Everybody's intimidated with that. I deal with electricians. It's so different dealing with appliances. A lot of the guys I'm coaching, they're former electricians. So looking at a schematic, you think schematics are all the same? Yeah, they are. But the thing with appliances, you gotta know how they work, how systems flow. You gotta understand with a washing machine when it fills with water. And if there's a problem with the cold valve, how it won't go to rinse. You gotta understand step one, step two, step three. And that means you're gonna have to get down and you're gonna have to study. YouTube University is only gonna take you so long. Yeah, it might give you a little start, but the reality is not gonna be consistent. So if you plan on making this a part-time business or a full-time business, you're gonna to have to invest in a coach, a mentorship, or you're gonna to have to go take some of these courses and you're gonna to have to definitely get some hands on because at the end of the day, one thing about Ms. Ward, I'm not gonna to lie to you. I'm gonna tell you the truth when it comes to this business. Because like I say in the past, you know, I'm a guru, not a guru. I do, I do it and I do it in multiple locations. And that's because that's how I chose to build my business. Now, everybody has a different business model. So this is why if you have the warranty business model, you still got to structure it a certain way to get maximum uh, from the warranty company to understand the algorithm to build the relationships that you need to build in order to be successful. Because warranty companies have their ebbs and flows. Sometimes they may have a lot of checks in the area. So then that's gonna cut in on your bag. And then you gotta be able to have other streams so that you are not hurting. And so it really starts with how you start the business. And if you've been in business for a while, it's important that you can pivot and that you haven't gotten complacent. You know, what I see a lot of times is that people are not disciplined, they're not consistent, they get complacent. You know, they get a couple of G's here and there, hit a lick, they think they made it. No, no, no. You make it when you're making enough money and you can be like Mr. Sneed over there at Appliance Bootcamp and you're investing in other businesses, real estate, his ice cream business. You know, he's got several things going on and he's an electrician by trade. You know, he's got an engineering background. This guy's a beast. So, but one thing about Mr. Sneed is that he plots and strategizes his steps. You're looking over at Brandon, over at TMM, you want to be like Brandon. Well, you got to understand, he put in the work to get where he is. This is why he's so passionate about training. Brandon and Richard Zilker, they want to make sure that you got that hands-on game so you can get out here and win. So all y'all that think y'all can go out here on pattern recognition, let me just break it to you slowly. You can't. It is not sustainable. And real business people want to get into a position, no matter what they do, that they have sustainability and they can have growth. And the only way to make that happen is to be consistent and put things in place. All you people that think you can get out here without using the app and 
blow up and, you know, use Google this, Google that. No, 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 no. You're going to have to invest if you want a certain caliber of customer, because you have to approach those customers in a professional manner like a corporation would. I mean, it's not that it's difficult. It's about being willing to put in the work to take the, the constructive criticism and fix your stuff so you can be stress-free. I mean, I deal with people who have 20, 30 calls a day and they still ain't making money because they don't know what to do, which one to take, which way to go, boom, boom, boom. I deal with people where they watch their stuff go to a triple. The point is, I understand what that's like. So if you want to get a consult with Ms. Ward, feel free to hit the link in the description. We cover everything. I mean, when I say everything, everything from if you want to help with business credit, we deal with that on structuring it the right way so you don't get in trouble and you're doing stuff in a scrupulous manner the way you should and you're building it the right way so that you can grow it and then one day, you know, buy a vehicle in the company name, even buy commercial property in the company name. It's how you structure it. But you got to start in the beginning. You got to make sure that you can actually have the cash flow to get to certain levels. You got to understand how to build out your bank accounts. For, you hear me preach it all the time, profit first. I can't teach it no better than that. You got to understand how to put your money, where to put your money and how to manage it. You know, when you out here struggling and you have a survivor mentality and not a striver mentality, and yeah. hey, I got to give this shout out to Terry, the electrician. Mindset is key. And a lot of people I talk to, they still in a W-2 mindset. They still in a lack mindset and they're surrounded by people who think like that. Long as you live like that, you're not getting. It's not going to happen. So, per usual, this war keeping it real. Invest in yourself. Get a consult today. You don't have to get it with me. You got Darian, phenomenal. He's my brother, Darian Clark at DCNF. Go find out. Go follow his channel. You know. At the end of the day, it's several people out here that can help you, but you got to understand what you need. And then you got to be open and receptive and you're not going to get everything at once. Part of the problem is you want to do a website. You want to do this. You want to do that. You want to set all this up and you can't fix an appliance. How are you going to support the fees for the website or the SEO or the Google ads, the keywords? How are you going to understand and make sure that your reviews are popping like they need to? How are you going to be able to bankroll these apps if you can't fix an appliance or you misdiagnose them? See, I'm going to tell you what nobody else is going to tell you. This is from experience. I don't care how tight your business mind is. You know, the beautiful thing about me is I'm versed in a lot of areas. So I've been able to pivot. But believe me, I didn't hit every wall and then some and still hit walls because that's part of business. You got to be disciplined. You got to be structured and you got to be focused. Distractions are going to come. Drama's going to come. The key is you're going to stay on top or you're going to fall to the bottom and chill. Believe me, that's not life. Life is when you get up and go get it. So with that said, Ms. Ward is signing off. And remember, YouTube University is only going to give you the surface sauce. It ain't going to give you the real one. Life getting out here grinding and teaming up with a team that's going to take you to the next level and being willing to invest in yourself is going to make it work. So with that said, salute. You know I'm signing off. Y'all keep stepping. And my take the Titans. What's up? All day I got y'all. Be blessed and remember, keep your head up.